quick how to adjust your clipper blades. We're going to kill two birds with one stone and adjust our clipper blades and at the same time clean the inside of the clippers. So taking off the screws. Taking this little hair filter off. Cool. Just put a lot of hair still in there. Give that filter a little clean as well. It's pretty clean. Carefully place that filter back in there. And make sure this blade's clean before we put it back in. With the lever fully closed on your clipper, you want to put the moving blade in first, and then the stationary blade, which is fixed to the clipper. Place the screws back in. So you don't want to tighten the screws all the way because you're going to adjust it. We tied in it enough so it's not moving right, but it's still loose enough to shift. So we're just gonna try and line that up. Just notice that I'm keeping my finger here to keep the tape around from moving. The distance between the cutting blade and the um, stationary blade should be 0.8 mils. So just before I tighten up the screws, you can see that the first tooth on the moving cutting blade is lined up with the second tooth of the stationary blade and the last tooth of the cutting blade is lined up with the inside of the last tooth of the stationary blade. So we're just going to tighten those screws. This part can be kind of tricky because you don't want the blade to shift while you tighten the screws. So you'll just do a slight turn on one screw at a time until it's tight. As you're tightening it, you might you might want to check, double check before it's tightened all the way that it's still straight. The teeth are still lined up, and the blades are still straight. And don't forget, once you've finished setting your blades, it's very important to oil your blades before you use the clippers. And just wipe off any excess. And also, it's important to tune your clippers as well when you're resetting your blades. Because what a lot of people don't know is adjusting the voltage on the side of the clipper also moves the cutting blade. So if this is the bottom, I'm turning that until I, I'll keep an eye on that until I hear, hear the grinding sound from the clippers. And then I'll turn it back half a turn. So basically I went from here to here. But I heard the grind and then I turned it back here. So just gonna check that the blades are still lined up. Yep, still looks pretty good. If your blades are too far to the right, they're under tuned. If they're sitting too far to this side, they're way over tuned. If they're sitting in the middle of this stationary blade, they're also over tuned. So you just want it sitting slightly to the right with this first tooth on the moving blade lined up with the second tooth of the stationary blade and the last tooth of the moving blade lined up with the inside of the last tooth of the stationary blade. And there we go.